Okay, in this video, we are going to do a nice little complex numbers problem where we're going to find all n such that the quantity 1 plus root 3i to the n is a real number. Um, and so I'm going to make use of de Moivre's theorem. I think that's how you say that. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's take a look. So first, I'm going to start with 1 plus root 3i. I'm going to rewrite that in uh, cis form or in like modulus argument form or polar form. I'm going to find r and I'm going to find theta. So I look at this and I think r is definitely just 2 because if I divided everything by 2, I would get 1 half root 3 over 2, which is a unit circle point. But if you're not sure about that, you can find r by doing the square root of 1 squared plus root 3 squared because you're just doing a squared plus b squared. Uh, I also look at that and I think if the ordered pair is 1 half comma root 3 over 2, I definitely know the angle is just pi over 3. So I do know theta is pi over 3. But if you're not sure about that, it's the inverse tangent of... Um, b over a, or the absolute value of b over a, so the inverse tangent of root 3, which you still would need to at that point remember is uh, pi over 3. Okay, so that means that uh, 1 plus root 3i is 2 cis pi over 3. So let's go back to the original problem, and uh, we're trying to do uh, that thing to the n. So the original to the n is the same as 2 cis pi over 3 to the n. So now I'm going to use uh, what I pronounce it, de Moivre's. I don't know if that's right. It's probably not. Um, theorem to uh, raise this complex number to the nth power. So that's going to give us 2 to the n cis n times theta, so pi over 3 times n. Really useful theorem. Um, so cis stands for cosine theta plus i sine theta. So I'm just going to expand this. You don't have to watch that. Um, so we will get 2 to the n quantity cosine pi over 3n plus i sine pi over 3n. So remember, our goal is to get a real number out of this thing. So if I'm going to get a real number, that means the imaginary part needs to go away. Or this part needs to be zero. So what I really need to happen is I need um, sine of pi over 3n to equal zero. So I have to figure out when that happens. Well, I'm going to think about the unit circle to try to solve that. So here's our circle. So sine is zero at uh, zero and at pi. And so really what I need is for uh, pi over 3n to just be equal to uh, pi, usually I would say pi times n, but n is already used. So I'm going to say pi times k, where k is an element of the integers, which is that double struck z. Um, and then I just have to solve this. So I'm going to multiply by 3, divide by pi. I'm going to get that n must be equal to 3k, where k is an element of the integers. Uh, and that solves the problem. It's kind of a nice little problem uh, I wanted to share with you. I hope this was helpful and good luck.